Hi everyone, this is Michael for Spirit Comics. Welcome, true readers, to another review. Now, my previous one was of Batman number 24, where Batman proposed to Catwoman. If you missed that video, I will have it down in the description below, and I'll have it linked to this video as well. Now, following that issue from 25 through 31 was the, was the War of Jokes and Riddles, a storyline between the Joker and the Riddler, a war for Gotham City between them both. And I have to be honest here. That storyline did not interest me very much. I thought it was kind of boring. I'm sorry, it just wasn't. I'm sorry, Tom King, if you're watching this. It just what wasn't for me. I, di I didn't. I couldn't get into it. Thankfully, this is issue 32 here of Batman. This is where the War of Jokes and Riddles wraps up. And this cover, it's okay. It's an okay cover. I think it could be better. I mean, you have Batman here. Looks like he's holding his hands up. It's like there's blood on him. And then over here you have Joker. And you can tell it's Joker. He's got a bow tie on. And then over here you have Riddler, but no body. Not even the details of a shirt or a jacket. And during this whole storyline, that's what Riddler had. You know, a green jacket, white shirt. But you just don't see that on this cover. You just don't see the any, anything that looks like a jacket or a, sh a, a white shirt. Over here you can tell that Joker is wearing a tuxedo. A white shirt. Yeah, he's got the bo bow tie. You can tell. You can. You know that's a the the cover artwork is. You know that's my gripe about the cover artwork, and this part here. In the middle, this I'm not sure why this was left blank, but you know, there could have been something placed there. Maybe some of the other monsters and uh, uh, villains that have been used in this storyline. So, anyway, let's get into Batman issue 32. Now, we don't start out starting starting with the War of Jokes and Riddles. This is the conclusion to the War of Jokes and Riddles. But in fact, what you are seeing is Batman, aka Bruce Wayne, and Catwoman, aka Selena Kyle, sitting on a bed, and then they that then. Bruce Wayne holds his head and you can clearly tell that you know they probably have been uh, making love but uh, something's going through his head and it's not regret about making love to Selena Kyle then over here we have this weird type of splash page and at first I thought this was sort of like a yearbook type photo <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I did, but it's not. Each one of these faces is someone that was killed by either the Joker or the Riddler in this war. And so this is where we start. DC Comics presents the Riddler, Joker, 
The War of Jokes and Riddles Conclusion. Thankfully, it's concluding. I was I, I uh, and down here is a bat Batman in his give it with it with his bat glare. And Tom King wrote it. You know, uh, Mike uh, Janine with uh, who did pencils, inks, and co cover. Jun Chung was the colorist. Clayton Cowles was letterist. And uh, Oliver Coppell and Dave Stewart did the variant covers. Uh, for And Maggie Howe was the assistant editor. And James S. Rich was the main editor. Now let's get into the story. Now we go back over here. We see Batman. I mean, uh, excuse me, Bruce Wayne and Selina Kyle sitting on the bed again. And Selina reaches over to, you know, let Bruce know that she's there. And he looks over at her, and he, she's holding his hand, and she puts her arm around him best she can because. She's a little bit smaller than Bruce Wayne. Yes, she's Catwoman. She's quick. She has great reflexes, but still, she's a little bit shorter, I think. And no words are spoken. But you can see right here that she, Selena is showing that she cares about what he's going through. And Bruce Wayne lifts up her hand and kisses it. I think that's a very beautiful gesture. A excellent artwork there and then Bruce Wayne looks into her eyes while holding her hand and then we turn the page now it's back to the fight between the Joker yes that's the Riddler and Batman and I know many people remember the Riddler from the 1960s, the dude who wore a, a one, sort of like a one-piece uh, jumpsuit with uh, black question marks all over it. That was made decades ago. This is, the, this is the Riddler as imagined today. And they attack Batman. And Riddler says, finally! And both of them lunge at Batman. Batman stops the punch from the Riddler. And over here, the Riddler gets in a good POW against uh, Batman's skull. And then Batman blocks another punch from the Riddler. He falls over, and uh, the Riddler falls over. And then the Joker comes and attacks Batman from behind. Thud! Batman gets up and, you know, knocks the Joker all the way across the room. He falls on the floor with a big crash. And so this uh, fight is, seems to be getting pretty intense. There's not much said. Just, you know, sort of like grunts and, you know, and stuff like that that you would expect during a fight. So on this page, the Joker gets back up. He goes to attack Batman and, ba and Batman ducks. And then, well, no, I think this time he attacks the Riddler. Yeah, he attacks the Riddler because then, wham! The Joker brings this like crowbar down against the Riddler. And Batman, being the hero that he is, steps between them and punches the Joker out of the way and then and then the Joker gets a good pow so and when the, the Riddler recovers he lunges at Batman pow and hits him right across the jaw Batman retaliates, 
hitting the Riddler. And then he Batman hits him another time. Pow! Down. And he a third time. Pow! A fourth time. Pow! And then you see the Riddler saying, Ma, Mercy, Mercy, please. A fifth time. Pow! So that's five punches from Batman I t delivered to the Riddler. Mercy! And Batman hears this. Then, dialogue begins. Real dialogue. Batman says, Mercy? The Riddler says, Yes! I lose, you win. Fine, marvelous. Now tell me, I can't see over your thighs. Is he laughing? And the and the, the Riddler is referring to the Joker. He's asking, is the Joker laughing? Batman looks at him and says, what? And then the Riddler says, the Joker, you twit. He should be laughing. And is he laughing? And then the Joker gives him this look. It's so like, uh, he doesn't know. He, he's, con he's a little bit confused just as much as Batman is. And then Batman stands up and says, I don't know. What do you think? And the Riddler looks over at the Joker and and, and sees that he's not laughing. And he, he says, "No! Why? It it should have been enough." The Riddler says, "Wage a war, take you, the city, the Bat, all to the brink, only." To lose because of what? The Riddler says, Kite Man? And that was a character that, for me, really didn't go anywhere. He, I really didn't understand his purpose during this storyline. That's why I decided I was not going to review issues 25 to 31. Because, you know, I just, I didn't get the story. Anyway, the Riddler gets up and says, I'm humiliated, defeated, beaten in front of you. And he's looking at the Joker. Because of Kite Man, and I still don't get it myself, you know. Do you know how much work it took to create? Now, this is where I... Th I, I I really think this the editor missed out. Do you know how much work? I mean, this could have been an oversight on the editor's part. The Riddler says, "Do you know how much work it took to create a foil named Kite Man? F O I L. That's foil." Now I think what should have been there is a fool named Kite Man. You know, that would sound better. It would make more sense to me. Really, it would. And the Riddler continues on to, and in this panel we see just the Joker in this really grim frown. And it says, to set him up as the informant to kill his kid. To convince Batman to leave him for last. Knowing you'd come here. Knowing Kite Man could lead everyone here. Then the Riddler gets up in the Joker's face. He. No. Me. Defeated by Kite Man. Begging mercy from Batman. That's funny! 
You should be laughing. And the, so the Riddler doesn't get why the Joker's not laughing. And obviously, I think because the Joker does not find it very funny. And so the Joker says, knock, knock. Yeah. Classic knock, knock joke. Although this is not a classic knock, 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 knock joke. This is a Riddler. I mean, this is a Joker knock, knock, knock joke. Batman says, enough. And the Riddler, sa the Riddler says, this isn't about you, you idiot. How did did you ever not every story is your story and it's almost like Tom King and and the Riddler are in the same room writing this issue because that statement is kind of funny yeah this is the Batman this is Batman's book so every story in here is his story but it includes someone else. And, um, uh, uh, Riddler continues say, saying, You really think it bothers me you're alone? I could kill you easily. I could kill everyone you love, the Riddler says. If I wanted, you'd all be in a ditch tomorrow. And the Riddler continues on saying, I keep you alive for the reason we all keep you alive. You're that first riddle you hear when you're a child that you return to as an adult. So you know, though you know the answer. And the Riddler says, you're not a challenge. But you're fun. And Batman's like, hmm. So then the Riddler goes back over and is barking at the Joker again, saying, But you, the man who laughs at anything, but who now can't laugh at anything. And and the Riddler is just like going nuts. And so since uh, the Riddler did not answer Joker's knock-knock joke, Joker says, who's there? And then the Riddler says, that is an opportunity. And the Joker says, incompetent, interrupting cow. In incompetent, interrupting cow. And the Riddler says, that's a riddle I want to solve. That I did solve. By making this war. By losing this war. And he looks at Joker and says, And you, you should be laughing! And then Batman starts to narrate. Because they're... Everything he says is in these black boxes here. He says, Kite Man's son, Charlie. I was there. The Riddler says, You don't get it. And then the Joker continues his knock knock joke. Incompetent interrupting Cal Who. And the Batman says, After Nigma poisoned him, and, N and Edward Nigma is the Riddler, just so you know, killed him. To solve a riddle, to tell a damn joke, and it says, "Do I, and Riddler, Riddler says, do I have to explain it to you?" Batman narrates, saying, "Charlie asked his father if he said that word, the bad word, would he go to the bad place?" Are you that stupid? The Riddler says, and here we see. Batman is still narrating, but he's had, if you can't see, he has a blade in his hand. His father told him no, but Charlie didn't hear that. He was already gone. And so then we see in, in this panel, Batman's charging with 
the blade in his hand. And the Riddler says, wait, what are you? No. And Joker says, no. No. Riddler says, and Batman says, hell yeah. Because the Batman is mad. He Then, we have a really nice page here, where Batman narrates himself, and he says, It wasn't an accident. I didn't think I'd fail. I wasn't out of control or insane. I knew who I was. I knew what I was doing. I understood the choice I'd made. I thrust the knife out to kill the Riddler. And you, that's what you see him doing. You see Batman thrusting the knife out. So what happens? And the Joker stopped me. And that's very, un, uh, that's very strange of the Joker, but this, as you see, is the Riddler right here, and this is the arm of the Joker. He stops Batman from killing the Riddler. But you see, the blade, it went right through the Riddler's hand. And then, you know, normal people should be screaming that hurt! That, I, I'm in pain! But Joker is not normal. He says, now that... That's funny! And I'm not sure if he was laughing at his own... Not my joke, or if he was laughing at his hand being... You know, thrust, thrusted with a knife. But as you can see... He's going, he's going crazy, ha, and he's holding his arms apart, and this arm, I mean, this hand, even though you may not be able to see it, still has the blade running through his hand, and down here, Batman is narrating himself, he says, later, in Arkham, I asked the Joker why he'd saved me, because Batman considers himself saved from the Joker that he didn't kill the Riddler. He asked me if I knew the difference between a joke and a riddle. Batman said, I said no. He said when I figured that out, I'd understand. Okay, so now all of that is finished with the Joker, the Riddler, and Batman. Now we go back to, I believe this is, Cat. This is a Selena Kyle's, aka Catwoman, apartment. And Bruce is talking to Selena. He said, and and you remember, and if you re 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 saw the previous video that I reviewed, Batman issue twenty four. Batman proposed to Selena at the end of issue twenty four. Now, um, I just wanted to mention that because it's important. Bruce says, What separates me from them? I have lines, right? I can stop. I have limits. They can't control themselves. I can. I'm good. They're bad. They kill. I don't. That's what everyone thinks. And Selena is listening to him. She shows that she's listening. And Bruce says, but it's not true. He says, what separates me from them? And so he goes toward the window and looking out and says, is a hand on a knife? His hand, referring to the Joker. So he literally believes that the Joker saved him. And over here, Bruce says, And now you know, I'm not noble. 
and Selena is looking up at him with a beautiful smile up, I, th I think. I'm not some knight in the dark. I'm just what he made me. And he's referring to the Joker. Because they have a long, long history. And so he walks back from the window and sits back down on the bed. And this is how they talk to each other. Selena says, bat. And Bruce says, cat, I, I love you. I have to love you. And have is in bold and italics. But that doesn't mean it isn't I'm you don't have to love me. And I like the this close up of both Bruce and Selena listening to each other, looking at each other. Then we go over here to this next page. Selena and they're looking at each other and Selena says what's the difference between a joke and a riddle? She asks Bruce the same question. And Bruce says cat. And Selena says the answer could be clever or funny or political or deep or anything. It could be but it's not. She looks back at him and says, The answer is, who cares? You, and Selena continues on, and I don't know if you can see this, but tears are starting to fall down her face. She says, You are who he made. Fine. And I'm whatever the horrors of my life made me. Fine. She continues. All our sins are earned tragedies. All of it. All that damn pain. It's all here with us. It is us. Now you see a shot of Bruce listening. Not talking, he's listening. And Selena continues on and says, And I'm sure it's all meaningful or hilarious or philosophical or deep or something or everything we could spend our lives mired in the complexities then she walks back over to Bruce Wayne and says but really compared to us compared to you and me what we have or could have all that pain we have she looks at him and says honestly who cares and I don't know if you can see it but tears are streaming down both of her cheeks right here I love it and the darkness of, uh, of of this art because it's in you know the night night time in her apartment and I am going to try and do this bit by bit because I don't want you to see the answer before it's it's given but I Tom King if you are watching this and I hope you are I really love this issue Bruce says Selena and she can she goes on Bruce say it again but this time you poor boy don't demand Please just ask me. 
And Bruce knows what she's talking about. Oh, I love, I love, I love, I love this. So, Bruce just looks down for a moment, and she's and and, and Selena's looking at Bruce, and he says, and then Bruce looks up at Selena, right here, and sa he says, "Will you marry me?" And I'm trying to get my hand, hand over here. And then here Brant, uh, Bruce is looking at Selena. He's looking at her, waiting for the answer. What is her answer going to be? Is she going to say no? Or is she going to say yes to his answer? And her answer comes in the form of one word. She looks at him, as you can see right there, and but, and she's still crying a little bit, I believe, or maybe that's mascara. I'm not sure. She looks at Bruce Wayne and says, "Yes," and that concludes Batman issue number thirty-two. It concludes the war of jokes and riddles. Tom King, this was excellent. Aside from the cover, I loved the dialogue in this issue. It was better than the first, and then that than the than than the rest of the the storyline, the war of jokes and riddles. This was excellent. I would the, just the the, di the dialogue between Joker, Riddler, and Batman. It was important to have that in there. I know because it led into the dialogue between Bruce and Selina. And so now we know what her answer was. I honestly think she should have been on the cover instead of Joker and Riddler. But that's just my opinion. I would recommend that ish, Batman issue 32 to anyone who wa wants to read a good story. It's not a, it's not a jumping on point because you need to read Batman issue 24 before this one so that the dialogue from between Bruce and Selina makes sense. I really, I I I I really do like your run on this book. It's excellent. I enjoy it a lot. Everyone, I hope you enjoyed this review of Batman issue thirty-two, written by Tom King. Oh goodness. This is just a wonderful story, and I have no idea what's coming next for Batman. I have no idea what's coming next for Bruce Wayne and Selina Kyle. I don't know when they'll get married, but the fact is, she said yes. I ask that you please subscribe to my channel here on YouTube, Spirit Comics, if you have not done so before. And if you have, make sure that you have clicked on the bell so that you can be notified of all future uploads. Please drop this video a like if you enjoyed it. And also share this video with others so they can enjoy it as well. I'm Michael for Spirit Comics. True readers, keep tuning in because there's more cool reviews coming on this channel soon.